Okay, today I'm just a few miles from my home. First, we observing nature out there in the woods because it could be a wild animal out there, a bear or a bobcat, panther, or just whatever. We're going to do a presentation on a water hole. This is me, got my old head on. 40 years ago, when I was a child growing up, this was a little red water hole. It was made by log contractors, cutting logs in these woods. And the tractor made a trench in the ground and it made a little water hole and it kept growing, growing, growing to it grow to this little uh, water source. But a few weeks ago, I saw a duck in this water hole. And it went down with his head and it came up with something like a fish in his mouth. And I replied, that looked like a fish. How did it get in here? So I kept looking down on the banks of this water hole and I saw little fish. We call them minnows. And the question that arose to me, how did they get in here? How did they get into this small little water hole or isolated water hole that was made 40 years ago by just a tractor trench or a rut? Then we had to do a lot of brainstorming and go back to the point that there's no pond around here that flooded fish in here. There's no creek run in this area that flooded water into this little hole, nor a river or a lake. So the presentation is all about the beginning of life. We're going to go into the waters. We believe that these fish got in here naturally. But there's a reason why and how, according to a theory. We see that it takes two things to create. And we figure that it went through a chemical change, the water and the mud, create a bacteria and fish aids accumulated from it. That is the change. Now, in that creation, there was air. We're talking about air. is in the water. Air is a source. The sun is a source of the heat. The water is a source. And the mud is a source. Or the dirt. So what we are seeing, we need to go back and think that life had to begin on two surfaces or two parts of the earth, water and the earth. Which one was first? The creation of life in the waters or the creation of life upon the earth's surface, as you can see, the, the dirt or whatever. But whichever way it started out, in the beginning, millions of years ago. We should not let this affect our biblical beliefs. We should not let that interfere with our religious belief. This just people doing researching and trying to find out how and why and draw a theory in the beginning that this is one of the ways of how life started in water by the heat of the sun, the air in the water, the mud, and all of those mixed together, and it created a chemical change. And in that chemical change, it created fish aids. And air supported this fish aid. And once the fish aid hacked, it turned out to be looking like what it is. But anyway, this is a theory. So we have our rights to mention our theory. 
We will see you later.